I have an announcement to make. While I was feeling like an absolute failure this summer because I did not have an internship lined up like all my fellow peers did, I am so excited to announce that I am an official Airbnb hotel owner. Let's start the video. Hi everyone, my name is Kate. Today I'm going to be doing a video on what it's like setting up an Airbnb for the very first time. I'm a resident here in Honolulu, Hawaii on the island of Oahu and my mom and I decided that we wanted to kind of join the tourism business since obviously it's really big here. So we purchased a hotel studio in Waikiki. We saw the place in late May and then now it is mid-June so we are getting the keys on Monday which I'm really excited about. Today is Friday so I have ordered all the supplies that we are going to be needing like extra sets of bedding towels linens you know all that good stuff I also got decor like wall art pillows you know cute stuff like that and so I guess this is just kind of gonna be a vlog walking you through how my setup process is going so far I've already set up the listing on Airbnb it's actually really really easy to follow along their website so this is what it looks like currently but we are planning to add furnishings obviously because it is looking very basic right now so I want to spruce it up make it look a little bit more tropical I am always really interested in doing entrepreneurial things like I've had two small businesses now so I thought it would be a fun time to also branch off into doing something a little bit different which is Airbnb I've heard a lot about it and I don't really have my thoughts yet obviously because I'm new to this this, but I'll do a video on that later on for now this is just gonna be my initial first-time thoughts I didn't have like a full-time internship lined up like most of my peers did by the way I'm a college student and so I was feeling a little bit down on myself I'm really excited to have this project to work on and spend my time productively at this summer so my mom's here now to say hi, hi really quick yeah and I'm gonna start unboxing everything we have over there yeah. This pillow with this throw. They're, they're not a perfect match, which is like bothering me a little bit. Thank God for Amazon returns. Good morning. Today is the big day. Mom woke me up, told me that our transaction was recorded like the escrow or something like that. Basically, that means that it's official. So we now have the place and we're gonna go at 10 a.m. to get the keys. I also have to bring in all the decorations. I've been stressed out because I've been waiting on these picture frames to come. I ordered these really nice frames so that I could put the artwork in. They were supposed to come on Friday, which is later that day from when I was doing all the unboxing that you saw, but it never came and it said delayed and there was nothing since like five days prior to that and it was like in Vegas, so I was like, I am screwed. Talk to Amazon, they were not being helpful at all, but then God bless, it managed to scan into the hub suddenly on Sunday yesterday. So it's on island now and it's out for delivery today. I don't know if it's gonna make it by the time we have to go and drop off all this stuff, but I'll probably just have to make a trip back here and then just Uber there because the parking situation is difficult and I'm not gonna go and pay for like 24 hour parking. You can't just do hourly. That's where I'm at. I thank God for the little blessings. Like I really, really needed this to come in today. I'm flying back out tomorrow. So like I don't have time to go and redo this before my flight and take all the photos so i am very very grateful editing kate here with a money saving tip about wall prints so if you were to look online or in person for a framed wall print the prices are generally about 200 plus for a 24 by 36 which is what we got two of because we have two queen beds you need pretty big wall prints so i was like I cannot afford that like that is not gonna work out well for our budget so with my great college budget brain I decided to find and buy the digital files off Etsy because there are so many options whatever artwork you want out there it is on Etsy and it's at high resolution as well printing it out at Walgreens it was ready the next day it was only $15 each and then the frames were 45 each so in total I spent 144 for two prints so I saved like $250 so use that tip if you want to save some money so the cleaning person is also about to come. He's gonna come pick up all of our extra stuff that I was showing you, like the bed sheets, duvet covers, shower curtains, etc. because we change them after every guest just to keep things clean and sanitary, obviously. Like, I don't wanna be sharing a bed sheet with somebody else, that's gross. So I think this is a good tip to find a cleaning company that also takes all your stuff and just takes care of everything. Like, they're gonna be the ones who hang on to all the shampoo, do, does the refills, or just like brings the little travel size shampoos for people. If it's a short-term stay, 
it gives a lot of peace of mind not having to deal with the whole cleaning situation because there is a lot like that way we don't have to like leave the vacuum and the bleaching unit because we have a hotel room so there isn't like a storage closet like that um but i know at some people's airbnbs they do have that option so some people just clean it themselves or they can just leave all their supplies there so it makes it really easy this is the fit today all right i am heading out now i am going to go pick up my boyfriend who also happens to be one of the best photographers he does weddings portraits family shoes and he does real estate so i'm like yes i feel like photos are everything you know like if your place doesn't look good then it's just not gonna look good the photographers just get it you know like they know the right lighting the angles and stuff so i'm like let's just leave it to the pros We are bringing everything up. This is my mom and I's realtor. This is the place. <laughs> this is a little before. <laughs> Ethan said it looks like a used tampon. Look at how cool this plunger is. Oh <laughs> and it just closes. <laughs> Ethan's in action right here. So as you enter in, there's a mirror right here. Then you turn around, got the full length wardrobe, which is really nice right here. And then this is also the little coffee space. So we have mugs, coffee and everything, paper towels. We also have a pretty big mini fridge, if I do say so myself. This is the microwave. Bathroom vibes. You can open up the floor to ceiling windows and reveal the beautiful lush Waikiki strip view, which I'm obsessed with. Our key card also gives guests access to the pool. This is the front desk where guests will check in. After this, we had a quick lunch break and then went home because excitedly the frames were finally here and I put them all together with the posters inside and brought them back. My camera unfortunately died as I was finishing filming everything, but here are some iPhone shots. I'm gonna show you how the photos ended up turning out. I'm so happy with them. Everything looks so good, and I'm really, really excited for what's to come. Today, they're actually redoing all the floors. It's gonna be laminate. We've actually gotten a few bookings already with the old photos, so now I'm gonna upload the new photos, and I'm just so excited to have everything up. Let me know if you guys wanna see more Airbnb content. I can walk you through my step-by-step, -step, like how I uploaded stuff, I don't know, the description, and little features that I spent a lot of time trying to figure out. Airbnb is very very easy but also hard to use at the same time so it's a big learning curve but I've been trying to ingest a lot of content to like figure it out and become a super host hopefully my flight is in a few hours so I think I'm gonna end this video here in the meantime follow me on my Instagram right here if you want to stay connected I always post stuff on my stories but YouTube is getting this reveal first I hope you all stay safe and healthy and I will see you guys in my next video bye Oh.